guys, what's up? Nice seeing you again here on Sailing Jaica. In this episode we sailed down to Antigua and visited two places, Jolly Harbor on the western coast and English Harbor in the south. And let me show the entire footage and let's get started. There's a wind of change I've never ever felt this way Longing for you, pick up the phone Catching the flight, I'm coming home Back to the place I've always known Home, home Seeing you soon, I gotta run We're gonna have a lot of fun And spending this summer alone hey, I'm coming home We've just got further off the shoreline as here in Barbuda there are a lot of coral reefs and navigation closer to the beach can be dangerous but still we are moving along the coast and we see this beautiful beach you hear there is no engine noise we put both sails up we are sailing kind of slow because we have only seven knots of wind but we are moving at four knots almost four knots so means it's very very good speed with a clean bottom and we're heading to Antigua, that's another island that belongs to the same country, Antigua and Barbuda. Uh, it's going to be a 34 mile passage. We are planning to anchor out in the capital, which is St. John's. And today is a Saturday, tomorrow is a Sunday, Easter day, and we're gonna spend holidays down there. As we have tuna left, the one we caught on our way to Barbuda, we need to eat it fast as we don't have freezer and I don't like to put food in the garbage. Yesterday I just cooked it on the pan with the olive oil and with the rice on the side. Today I just broiled it in the water with the mayo. Very good. So you join your espresso? I love it. That's the best time after the bench. <laughs> you are like me. I need cookies to feel happy and you need espresso. <laughs> yes, as during sailing we cannot really prepare to use espresso machine because of the engine and the movement. So we prepare it in advance and that really helps to make this time easier. Jolly Harbor is a definitely place to anchor out for a couple of days. Right here you can do the clearance, stay in a lovely marina or even do a boat work if needed, all in one place. The marina is surrounded by different restaurants, shops and all possible convenience stores. Today is Sunday, Easter day, and I've been waiting for this time since 48 days. We are now in Jolly Harbor, planning to stay here for one more day, and now we are going to celebrate Easter, eating all different kinds of meats and dairy products we still have from St. Martin. Next day we sailed away, heading to the English Harbor. We knew from other people that it's gonna be a busy place, that there is a lot of traffic, boats come in, come out, but we also heard this is the best place uh, almost like an entire island to anchor out. So we get here yesterday from Jolly Harbor and it was already sunset and it was kind of 
time we had to anchor out so we squeezed between two boats and we stay here and the next morning they left so we're good but this is also a really 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 beautiful place uh, there is uh, a place where you really feel the influence of England homes are different the way they build it and the way they organize the nature around also very different from what we've seen before and also the weather looks like it's <laughs> from England too we haven't since two days we haven't seen sun and it's been raining a lot but it's nice place and worth visiting When we started approaching a port, we mentioned beautiful old yachts and after we understood that in few days the classic yacht regatta will start. Anyway, we walked around and watched those yachts as close as we were able to. So this is the dream place for you, Ajak, to see all these boats. Yeah, it's a beautiful boat. It's amazing. Uh, it's an antique boat. They are very, very old. And when you see, uh, they are absolutely in perfect shape. Varnish is shiny. Everything is perfect. And these are boats that are going to participate in this regatta? Yeah, it is an antique boat. It's a special regatta for antique boats. So that's the famous boat, what's special about it? So one guy rowing by his arm only across Atlantic from Canary Islands to Antigua. It's about 3500 miles. Uh, it, it took him how long? Uh, 116 days. Do you imagine? No. Just going with just the compass and the GPS, it's absolutely amazing. So, he lost uh, 20 kilos during this trip, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing to think about the cross Atlantic on a small boat like that. How big is that? Uh, Let's say 20 foot, something like that. Okay. I never understood the word they said. Kept running in the woods alone and still. Somewhere, somewhere. We're in the Nelson Dockyard. That's the most popular place here in Antigua because of the natural hurricane call here. The English Navy built, built here uh, a fort, uh, ports, dockyards, different facilities, and there was a huge sugarcane production for years. It's been working, working, working till the end of 18th century. 
because the trade between islands and other countries stopped so this place has been abandoned and been like that for like 50 years it hasn't been destroyed completely and at the end in the middle actually of last century they renovated this place and uh, they now we see what we see now and it's the only place in the world uh, active that has kept the uh, Georgian style So, how the movie is going? Yeah, the movie is going kind of slow, but just across the canal we have a Nelson boatyard with those huge yachts preparing for the race, which is going to start tomorrow, but we will not be able to see because tomorrow we need to head to Guadeloupe, but we are in a beautiful place that's an Italian restaurant decorated very beautifully, and plus they are cooking something now. I'm staying here. Look at you! <laughs> you are completely wet. You want a cup of tea? I'll <laughs> <laughs> never. Boat. Yeah, so it, it's it, kind of strange for me, but it uh, looks like my dress. Uh, <laughs> by the way, you have any idea how they made uh, this kind of paint? Yeah, but uh, probably was uh, white at the beginning, and they put a s kind of uh, stripe, black stripe on it. Not so. It needs some time. Oh, so it's not the paint. It's like kind of the build it, the, the texture. Yeah, probably right? paint. Yeah. But, yeah, it's not so complicated. That's funny. Yesterday when we finished loading a movie here in an Italian restaurant, well, they didn't have a change, so they left us going without paying the bill. And we came back yesterday evening, still no change. And today we came back again to pay the bill, and finally Jack is <laughs> coming back, and now we can head south. We are now in the Falmos harbor. We got down here walking from the English harbor, crossing the small, small city. And here we also have a very beautiful view. And now we're going to get the place uh, why we actually got here and to see these two harbors from a very, very high point. right there a few of them by the way the opposite side of this mountain called the goat something when we were sailing down here from Jolly Harbor we saw like hundreds of them in a very very tiny place they were playing walking around so probably from that side they got here and they're trying to find food here actually ruins of the fort and this is the high point where uh, we get a spectacular view of this uh, English harbor and at the same time uh, the race starts actually tomorrow of those huge old yachts but today few of them got in the ocean they put sails up and they are turning around so we were able to see few of them sailing
There was a party just the day before the race had started and we visited it, catching up the ambience. Yep, that's exactly how it looked our week. And share me your thumbs up. Let's do actually something very crazy this time. I know you can hit this button only once, but all together let's make this button red on this movie. Yep, let's do it. And if you like our lifestyle and would like to see more of our movies in the future, you can support us by becoming our patron on patreon.com and don't forget to subscribe to our channel that's it for this week see you the next one bye bye now